Hi, this is Tanai. This will be my first ever YouTube review. On the back, I just got the Nutri Ninja Auto IQ. Picked it up at the store a few days ago and been loving it. So it's time to show you what it's all about. Okay, so what's included in the box? On the right here, we have one small cup, one medium sized cup, and one large sized cup. It also comes with three caps. Um, they're all the same. They all come with this flip up shroud and cover. So you, after you make your smoothie, you bring it on the go, you can take a sip. Very convenient. Over here, we have a blade cover. This is what you're going to use to do your, all your blending. Um, the appearance is very strong construction. The blades um, look sharp and they don't look like they will flex during uh, operation. Like some of the others in the market uh, where it uses flimsier blade construction, they may or eventually wore out quicker or break. So, so far, I, mean, I used it for two days. Um, I'll have to do a long-term test to see how durable this, this may be engineered. So far, um, so far, so good. Over here, we have the Auto IQ Ninja itself. Um, as you can see, it's very similar to the normal Nutri Ninja. Um, the difference is this one is 1000 watts versus 900 watts on the normal one. And also this one comes with many different uh, pre-programmed functions. You can you know, put in your smoothie, um, put in all your ingredients, throw it in this blender, lock it down, and just hit a button and let it do its thing. Uh, on the regular one, I believe you have to hold it down. On the right here, we have also, three booklets that um, you know shows you some ingredients that you can pick up and if, if you don't have your own ingredients. But don't worry about that. I might have some ingredients to show you. Okay, now to the construction of the items. Um, the cup is very strong. Um, very rigid, uh, doesn't feel flimsy at all. The uh, caps uh, looks like they're quite good in quality as well. The threading of these cups, they threads from the inside. So the cups will close and thread from the inside versus you know the usual outside threading. I believe this is this is for for the blade. So when it threads from the inside, it has a good seal between it. So when, you, when you're when you actually doing blending, you have it upside down. So therefore prevents leaking. Um, but that is very, very, very different. Um, we'll have to see how, how well that works. So far for the two days I had it, um, I haven't experienced any leaks. So that is might be a good sign. The blade is of stainless steel construction. Um, looks to be in pretty rigid, um, not flimsy. Does not flex um, at all. Um, and I haven't had any issues so far. Uh, but but you know, looking at the seals, um, I haven't had the seals come off like I've read from some different models. That may happen. In terms of the actual unit, um, it's quite 
hefty, um, I'll say around 10 pounds. Um, the motor is 1000 watt. It gets pretty strong. And this motor can shake this unit. There are some, there are feet under there. Uh, they're not full suction cups. They're, I'll say like little pads that keep it from, from moving too much, but it still moves since you know this motor is you know quite strong at 1000 watts the unit is very compact um, the reason I bought this is because you know, you know I have small space um, in the kitchen so you know I want to keep this out all the time and the, the you know the limited space I need you know this is perfect for you know, any any uh, homes kitchens with not too much space available and this added functionality um, of the you know, pre-programming it makes it easy so you know you get up in the morning you know put your ingredients put your your favorite uh, fruits and vegetables into a cup and throw it in there hit the you know auto programmed quick hit the two auto IQ functions uh, blend and ultra blend and there you go come back after 45 seconds or uh, a minute and your smoothie is ready it also comes with one booklet, uh, Eat to Lose, Eat to Win, by Rachel Beller. Um, pretty much a book uh, that you know, shows different, different uh, ingredients, different types of foods, uh, all sorts of things um, that you can use the blender to chop up things uh, and blend sauces and and different spices as well as some other smaller manual on making simple smoothies and drinks same with this one um, same thing okay that was everything inside the box if you need more information see below in the description okay now let's uh, see how this works let's make some smoothies Okay, here we're going to make a smoothie. As you can see, we're going to use oatmeal. Uh, this is the gluten-free Bolts Red Mill oatmeal that I made. Um, I have egg in there. Over here we have peanut butter, natural. Uh, that's just all pe just peanuts and oil. Over here we have jelly. It's a organic jelly that I bought in a local market and we have good old almond milk okay let's mix everything in there let's put this oatmeal in there it's a good amount I'm using the medium size cup which should be enough for for one normal serving not not actual a unit of serving but a serving for a I got a little over here I'm gonna add some peanut butter these are all natural well natural where ingredients only has peanuts and a little salt. There's not nothing else in there. Like you see some peanut butter that has a lot of sugar added to it. Then I'm gonna add a little of this this jelly. This jelly is beauty berry jelly. It's hydroponic produce. Um, I got it at a local local farm um, that's made organically and local. I try to get organic and local made as much as possible. This will sweeten it a little bit.
usually up with an avocado also, but uh, not, none of them are ripe right now. So you can add an avocado if you want. And I'll, I'll add a little almond milk, not too much. I call this the D-I-G, Dig Smoothie. So, I'm going to put the cover on now and uh, see how it blends. Okay, so I had to move to my kitchen because the cord wasn't long enough. But as you can see, I have my smoothie ready. Um, I put the oatmeal, the gluten-free oatmeal, the peanut butter, and almond milk, and the jelly. So make sure you know, it doesn't have to be, make sure the cap is tight. It doesn't have to be super tight or else it'll be hard to remove later on. Okay, now you just flip it over, put it on, and you gotta turn clockwise, and you hear a click button. As soon as you click it, thing turns on. I'm gonna demonstrate the blend mode. Okay, that was complete. So 45 seconds for the blend mode. As you can see, it you know it cycles like pre, through a pre preset uh, series of sub so turns. So now it's done. You can lift it off. Just turn left, unclick it. It'll turn off right away and remove. Usually, I like to unplug it after it. So now, <clears throat> as you can see, it's pretty smooth. Let's uh, see how it tastes. Okay, so here's the result of the blend. It uh, looks very smooth. Um, as you remember, I had uh, oatmeal. Um, nothing really complex, but um, just to see how smooth it is. Um, very fine. That was 45 seconds using the blend, blend mode. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, this is the finished smoothie. So I added oatmeal, peanut butter, jelly, and almond milk. Let's give it a taste. It's very smooth. Um, I used the 45 second blend mode, um, the auto IQ function. Um, I think it turned out good. I think it tastes very smooth. Um, this smoothie. It's light on sugar, um, high on protein. So I think it's good for um, as a meal replacement or breakfast or a after workout snack. Um, I'll be having more uh, smoothie recipes coming up. Um, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Nutra Ninja Auto IQ. I hope you learned about its functions, its content, and its many different features. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe. Until next time, I am Tanai. Stay happy and eat healthy.